Hello Youtubers, this video is a part 2 of a small demo on how to control Mitsubishi VFD by Siemens S7-1200 series PLC. It also applies to S7-1500 PLC by the mean of the Profinet. In this video I will go through the hardware configuration in the TIA portal. First of all, create a new project and add an a S7-1200 series CPU All right so I already have my CPU now go to the Profinet interface and uh, add new Uh, as you remember, the IP address of uh, the VFD is 192.168.2.3 and the uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So I gave, I assigned an IP address of 192.196.1.2.2. Uh, to my CPU so as you can see both uh, devices uh, CPU and uh, the VFD are in uh, the same LAN okay so this is the basic configuration that is enough for um, for our project now switch to the network view First of all, uh, you need to update your uh, hardware catalog to install a new GSDML file of Mitsubishi FR, FR A8 and PRT. It enables you, your CPU to communicate with, uh, with uh, Mitsubishi VFD by the means of the Profinet. So to do that go to options uh, then click on manage general station description files okay so uh, find uh, the find your downloaded uh, downloaded file and as you can see here stat status shows that my file is already installed because actually it is already installed so I don't need to install anything check your newly found uh, file and click install I'm going to cancel it because I don't need it so after the installation process finishes your hardware catalog will be updated with a new with a new component of Profinet card A8 and PRT so all right now you can uh, find your you need to find your newly installed hardware so you need to go to the other field devices then profinet io then drives then hms industrial networks and here is a catalog named a8 nprt2p so drop down this RT head module All right now you have a new new station as you can see it is not uh, assigned to any uh, IO controller to assign to the IO controller just uh, click on the click on the, this uh, not assigned and uh, select your uh, IO controller in my case it is uh, PLC 1 all right I will delete that station because I don't need it okay now mm, 
mark your newly created station and go to device view okay now you need to add a telegram okay so you can find the telegram in the in the catalog module telegrams and uh, select telegram number one as it, it is a profit drive speed control uh, telegram which is going to be used for our small demo so simply drag and drop it in device overview okay now here you can see that um, uh, the starting address of input and output uh, tables is 68 uh, you can change it to any other free one if you want to or you can leave it as it is but you need to remember this uh, number for later purpose uh, for later usage okay so our uh, station is configured now switch back to the network view okay now switch to the profinet interface so scroll down to the IP protocol and uh, set this IP address M it might be that you got a different one after you have installed this station so it, but you can manually change it to this IP address is 192.168.2.3 also <coughs> this uh, you need to assign a profinet device name uh, by default uh, this one will be checked so device uh, name will be generated automatically if you don't want that just uncheck it and you can assign any any name you want to all right now let's compile everything okay and download the configuration to the PLC devices Okay, so download has been finished. Now let's go online to see the status. Okay, so as you can see, we have an error and our device is not listed. So let's go to the online diagnostic to see what the problem is. So diagnostic status shows that module exists and there is a fault. System fault. Okay. So what do are we missing? Okay, so the problem is that IO device is not found so it's our newly created uh, device it's not found and uh, 
basically the problem is that the name of uh, the IO device is not set or it is not the same as in uh, the our configuration also we can we can diagnose the station as well all right so diagnostic says that uh, a module is not reachable so IO device is not found okay let's go offline to fix that problem uh, we need to assign the name to our uh, to our station uh, IO station so just mark your station and click on assign device name all right now this pop-up uh, window shows that uh, I have only one uh, only one uh, device at the moment uh, configured in my hardware configuration so I can assign only one name if you have more there will be more now you need to select uh, the PGPC interface and of uh, type sorry of uh, PGPC interface and uh, PGPC interface itself the correct one where your uh, IO controller and IO devices are connected so now click on update list and wait until all the stations will be populated so okay now as you can see I have one station so its IP address is uh, 192.168.2.3 and uh, the status says that a device name is different so I need to assign this device uh, name to our to our founded device okay so just mark the device you want the name to be changed to and click assign name all right so as you can see uh, the name was assigned successfully and status now shows okay you can close uh, this pop-up pop -up window and let's go online to see is everything is okay all right now you can see that uh, our device at the moment is online uh, there is a there is an error in the CPU but it's not related to our newly created uh, module it cannot find uh, the HMI this TP700 COM port panel that is configured in my in my project so let's see the diagnostic all right so as you can see now we can see that uh, it is a uh, module RT and uh, article number firmware module name all right diagnostic status shows that module exists okay channel diagnostics doesn't show anything because there is no data exchange no errors nothing yet Interface, so we can see that Profinet uh, IO device, uh, prof, uh, devices PLC one, and this is the uh, okay, sorry, it's okay, IO controller is PLC one. Ethernet address is 192.168.2.3. and subnet is correct also MAC address okay and diagnostic messages no diagnostic messages no communication diagnostics as well okay so hardware configuration is completed uh, everything is uploaded to the PLC and uh, as you could see 
from uh, diagnostic uh, messages that we have established a communication with our uh, VFD via Profinet and so no errors so far communication is stable and next is to create a simple VFD control program so that will be covered in my next video thank you for watching